Hi all. So today's video, we want to discuss about the importance of Azure annotation and user properties. Annotation is the logical grouping of item. For example, you want to monitor your trigger because you are a managed service team in your uh, hundred people team in your all project. Okay, so definitely you are the leader and you want to check it in every mountain more once the deployment is completed you want to check in the some of the triggers some of the pipeline here so you can give the annotation the annotation is the logical grouping when you give the annotation in a specific name we can we can uh, filter that pipeline with the, that specific annotation I think hope you are clear so that is the importance of annotation we can give the name in the the annotation then based on that one we can filter the uh, pipeline trigger etc then the user properties the user property is also very important concept we can add if we uh, add some of the example for your user property for example when you click on the pipeline the, there is a variable parameters and there is user properties also in the user properties we can add the destination and we can add the uh, activity means for example in the copy activity we want to know every time this inner activity doing the activity level debugging where the data is coming where the destination of the data coming so that we can give in the activity so when you click the auto generated button it will so it will see there in the source and the destination so that is the importance of the annotation and the user property i think hope you are clear you can watch the video so hi all so today we are discussing about the main difference in the annotation and the user properties so uh, it is a very important concept because when you implement it in an uh, uh, application in Azure, definitely you want to understand the annotation and user property for example you are the part of an uh, the monitoring team because you need to handle the 100 employees are working in a team but you are the team who handle all the work and all the triggers who it is working in the same day or not and you want to categorize it because uh, depend on the deployment after deployment these are the pipeline need to run in a specific day so that time the annotation is the best way to use because when the grouping when you use the annotation in a particular uh, particular linked list and data set or trigger we are grouping into based on that particular annotation then we can easily pick out if you give the filter as this annotation name the particular annotation the grouping of particular items are displaying there then we can monitor it easily i think hope you're clear so that is the reason annotation is very important when monitoring your data pipeline you may want to able to filter and monitoring certain group of activities the Azure Data Factory annotation tag, like a tag, okay, add to your Azure Data Factory, Azure Synapse Analytics entities to easily identify them and annotation allows you to classify or group different entities in order to easily monitor, filter, then after the execution. The annotation allows you to define the static values and can be added to the pipeline, data set, link the service and trigger so so i will show you how we can do this annotation i will share this link also you can see here in the annotation when you create a new pipeline in the top right corner we can uh, find this kind of item then click on it you can see the properties of the pipeline then the name of the property properties description and here a new tab new then give the name of the annotation i will show here for example this is my pipeline this is my you can see here general in the properties in the pipeline in the properties pl this is the pipeline name the description is convert csv data to fork here we can give the new convert to csv this is the annotation based on this one we can add okay so and if you come to here and the monitor tab once i publish you can see here annotation you can select annotation 
now there is no annotation once the annotation we we publish it we can see the annotation and find the items under this pipeline and the trigger also we can find once we deploy it we can see here so you can uh, pipeline run monitor pipeline run based on annotation what are the availability we can see then okay so we completed the annotation and the grouping then we are moving on the user tab okay once you uh, you can come here you can see when you this one user property okay auto generate user property so when you auto generated the source will be source will be the manual file demo this one okay so when you if you want to monitor the dynamic value in an activity level because when you when you passing the uh, values to the op activity and the output also they are passing you can also do leveraging the user properties you can add these under any activities by clicking on the activity box user property add a new tab so for example click on new user property so user property new we can add the name the destination okay the for copy activity specifically you can auto generate this if you give this one because uh, when you copy activity there is a source there is a sync then the source and destination we will get here and the value like this one so if the sometime it will be like a to pipeline parameter uh, source specific this one so value like this to monitor user properties go to the activity run monitor view then we'll we see this one so when the activity run for example we can monitor uh, inside the pipeline so we can see this one activity run how many activities the output destination and the run id everything we can display here and you can remove the same for a view if you click on the bookmark sign okay so this we can bookmark if you want so these are the important concept of the annotation and user properties okay annotation means we can logical grouping of uh, pipeline data set or triggers etc that is the annotation user property means we want to activity level debugging we get the source and destination or we want to, what are the parameter what are the things are running in an activity level we can add the user properties when you implement it in a high level you will get more idea okay so yeah so i think you hope you're clear so if you have any doubt let's comment below once you complete this theory portion we are moving into the uh practical level so that also every day i will upload the video okay guys